Hi everyone, uh, Tim with Tyranny Adventures here. Uh, coming at you on June of this um, crazy 2020 year. Um, leave a little bit last time we did a couple update videos. I know we did a full video over the uh, Max. Um, I mentioned the Limitless um, and I believe I posted a couple speed run videos of it. Um, but I haven't had time to actually go over it fully, so we're going to try to knock out a um, video on this real quick and then just do an overall um, another video. So, as I mentioned in the next video, um, we were trying to bring back back into the speed. So, I did end up picking up a uh, local uh, hobby town here, was the Arma Limitless. Um, similar, very, very similar to the Arma Infraction. Um, this is definitely more the speed um, vehicle, and this thing is just, I mean, it's beautiful. I mean, everything about it, the color, just everything about it. So, um, in the video posted, I hit a personal best. My first time breaking 100 miles an hour, I ended up managing uh, 105 on an 8S pass. Um, I actually broke that record yesterday. I went 108. Um, and, but it was a really, really hot day. I think the heat index here was well over 100. Um, sun just being down, car was getting hot. So I wasn't, I only got a few passes and I got five passes in and three of them were 108. So probably could have got some more. So let's go over the car. So the Luminous comes as a roller and you pick your uh, electronics and everything else here. So um, for mine, what I've chosen, also just the cool things in all the armor vehicles don't just bash the last so for the heart and soul of mine um, I have the hobby wing max six uh, easy run combo 4985 which is a 1650 um, kV motor and the max six ESC um, easy to program um, everything went in, hooked up great. Um, like I said, I was running 6S and I just really, really wanted to hit 100. So, um, I threw 8S in there, hit it, um, which I am pushing the limits on this motor. This, everyone said this motor, do run 8S on it, but it is a 6S motor. So I am running, putting it to its limits there. Um, receiver, radio wise, uh, I'm running the Spectrum. Uh, DX5 Rugged, which honestly I've had good luck with that. I haven't had any range issues or anything like that. Um, and cool thing, I just am able to keep all that there, um, get good videos, good control, and I can put everything on it. So that's the heart and soul of it. Got everything, um, been working on getting everything programmed, um, lipo voltages, cutoffs, uh, thermal protection, etc. And uh, now gearing. Um, initially for the 100 mile an hour uh, runs that I posted, I was running 34-34. Um, which is a bit overkill, but like I said, I wanted to hit 100 miles an hour. Um, so currently, and I again changed, we are still running the 34 uh, tooth pinion, but um, I now have the 39 tooth um, spool. Um, which instantly, first pass cranked out 108, which I actually do need to upgrade my mini GPS. Um, work, works fine, and the readings are very accurate, but uh, a few people mentioned to me that this actually is potentially two to three miles per hour slower. They said it's still accurate. I'm, I'm still obviously hitting over 100, but they said it may actually be, this is probably reading just a little bit slower than the car actually is. So I could be close to 110, which that would be awesome, because that's really, that's kind of the goal. That's really where I want to be, 110, 120 be super happy um, so the first breaking hundred I was running on the regular uh, hoons that come with the limitless and the infraction um, but I was having major traction issues especially once I started getting up there a little bit faster so um, I got some uh, GRP uh, s5 tires um, and actually had the full slick compound on there um, tires are super soft um, definitely noticed a much, uh, an instant increase in just traction. 
when I hit the punch, I felt like I had a lot better control of the car with these tires on there. I am going to try another, get a couple other sets of tires to try as well. And probably wait for not 100 plus degree weather to try to run it out. Maybe just go out early in the morning, try to knock out some speed runs or uh, evening time. When everything cools down. But other than that, um, this car is an absolute blast. Um, try to add in at the end of this video the last couple speed runs I did manage um, uh, this weekend out with this. So for right now, everything, I think gearing wise, um, the people I talk to, gearing wise and everything, I am there. I am capable. Um, about the 110 to 115 range, um, even with this motor, um, tires, and I need some, uh, I need some higher, uh, discharge batteries. I need a higher C-Rain battery. Um, I just, it's one thing I haven't, like, really splurged on yet, and I really should and needed to, uh, so that is where we're at now. But, so, we'll try to add a couple of those videos in there, a couple of the speed passes, but this one, the limitless or the infraction i really still kind of want the infraction but i also do have um if i do get tired of the speed running i do have the uh, infraction i do have the 50t center diff for the infraction as well as the 18 tooth pinion that i can swap out <clears throat> and uh just go out for you know just a good day fashion doing a little drifting or some uh drag racing so that's in there and it's very easy to swap out everything on this is pretty good um last thing before those uh, last runs i did i was a little late on my maintenance but i did pull front rear diffs out clean them grease them and i did uh, 100k um, in um, both diffs um so um, that was where i started that's what the hobby town had stock i would like to do some 200k in the rear and that's what um couple of people recommended so i said we'll just get some exper uh, experiment in here because this is a, like I said, a whole new world for me so other than that that is the arm of limitless and that's kind of this is kind of my like crown jewel right now um, again thanks for watching uh, if you enjoyed it like subscribe uh, comments any suggestions any videos or cars you want to see